Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to the Let's Build That App.com channel. I uh, hope you guys are doing well. Uh, today's video, I wanted to make a quick couple of updates for the App Store course here. Uh, hopefully by now, a lot of you guys have heard about the composition layout as well as the Divable Data Source APIs uh, recently introduced inside of iOS 13. So uh, I've gone ahead and included two different sections on how to utilize these two new components to build out this entire page right over here. So uh, in the next 72 hours, I'm also going to include a $25 off sale. Uh, so make sure to grab the course before the sale ends. Uh, now let's kind of move on to uh, what exactly is included inside of these two new sections, right? Well, the component that I really like inside of iOS 13 now is the compositional layout. And the reason why I, I really like it is because utilizing this component, we can build out this entire page here with just one single collection view. So if you take a look at it, uh, previously, before iOS 13, we had to nest a couple of collection views to build out this entire page. And so now utilizing the layout section, the layout group, and also the layout item, uh, we can just build out this page very, very quickly and very, very straightforward. So again, a really, really amazing component. Uh, another thing that's really, really awesome about it is that if you want to support a horizontal snapping, kind of like what you're seeing here and also down here, uh, all you gotta do is to provide the orthogonal scrolling behavior and uh, you get this kind of action right here, the scroll action, you get that pretty much for free. Uh, something else we'll learn is how to you know, provide multiple different looking sections and uh, different layouts for our compositional layout component right there. Now, something else that was introduced is the Diffable Data Source. And uh, using the Diffable Data Source, uh, we can also uh, build out this entire page here. Uh, we'll talk about some of the pros and cons of using this new data source versus the standard way of kind of building out your collection view of number of items and number of, uh, number of sections. So we'll discuss the pros and cons. I'll show you guys how to set up the Diffable Data Source with a couple of generics and also to support multiple sections. Uh, something else we'll do is to delete items and maybe delete entire sections as well. So let me just delete this entire section here by just dragging down. You'll see all of these sections will disappear from our Diffable data source. Now, that's pretty much all the updates, but there's actually more. Um, I went ahead and updated the project to also support dark mode. And so the application pretty much looks like this right now. Uh, we have the dark background and white text inside of here. So the text is kind of white, it looks like that. Uh, the apps page pretty much looks like this over here. Uh, everything is in dark. If you click into the YouTube, you'll get the dark mode with the uh, gray bubbles down here. Uh, click into the search pretty much gives you the dark mode as well. And uh, without the dark mode, it kind of looks like this here. So here is Instagram and here is the actual page and here is the today's screen like so. And so uh, if you guys are interested in checking out the course, again, make sure to uh, grab it before the $25 off sale ends in the next 72 hours. That's going to be it for today. If you guys have any questions, make sure to leave them down below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Happy New Year of 2020, guys. Bye-bye.